Yeah, it's kind of dark in here. Got to get into some light. All right, fuckers. If you got thin skin and you don't like profanity, skip this video. Uh, don't leave me a comment uh, down below about how uh, you don't understand why people watch my videos because you got fucking really thin skin. You can eat a dick. Uh, dome light in this car is really bad, but see then if it, if I turn this light on, <laughs> it's like fucking scary stories in the dark. <coughs> anyway. I think you know where we're going, because I'm sitting in the old dumpster wagon. Does the uh, wife have any insightful things to say? Nothing nice. <laughs> Nothing nice at the moment, new. No, we got some shit happening that we can't talk about, so. Peace, fuckers! Wow. That's my wife. All right. <clears throat> Can number one. Looks full. The old diabetes dumpster, we can hope there's something worth getting in it generally when it's full there is but of late there hasn't really been anything in here ah, it's all full of fucking boxes and that's the cardboard <laughs> oh, I feel like a broken record like the cardboard dumpster is completely empty yet <laughs> I mean it's just boxes inside a box about to uh, give up on this trash can. Wait for uh, Ricky to knock on the door all excited because he found something in here because I haven't found anything in this trash can in a long ass time. That's it for now. We got traffic. I don't know what they're doing other than passing my wife at a stop sign, you fucking asshole. Anyway, this door's hanging open, which is never good. I try not to touch it because it's still broken and falling apart. It's all floor mop, cooler, pallet wrappers, empty Reese's. Yeah, look at that. No, damn it. Thought there was something there. Empty McDonald's cup. That sucks. Uh, rolls of film negatives. Oh, shit. Empty trail mix. Unactivated gift cards and a bunch of nothing. I do see a trash grabber back there, but... Well, son of a bitch. Let me see. There's a the car. Let them go on by. The gate's not shut all the way, so it's kind of weird when there's cars going by. broken just like I thought all right I'm out of here I'm trying to roll up a little bit sort of kind of incognito here on the uh, office max because they have a uh, security guard who works this complex now who uh, likes to run people out doors open which well it doesn't mean anything at this can but the uh, security guards kind of a dick likes to uh, run people out <sighs> I see nothing. Nothing at all. I, mean, I see some phone cable wire down there for Bubbles. Maybe I... Well, Bubbles isn't even doing copper anymore, so... That's the end of that. This is their cardboard trash can. Nope. Alright, so there are a few uh, new stores that have popped up in the last little while in this complex and I don't know what is what here other than that's a shitload of styrofoam packing peanuts Let's see else. Uh, nothing important in there uh, packaging yes yeah, it's all this uh, must be the recycling dump because this one almost Almost looks like it could potentially have something in it, but 
nothing at the moment and whatever that store is there has a actually i think that's the store my mother works at has a compactor so i think we're going to go around the corner real quick and check out barnes and noble for the first time in a long time all right we are uh rolling up here on barnes and noble still trying to get used to this new light that i got for my camera although i don't even really <clears throat> need it here because boy that's a spotlight if there ever was one Um, <laughs> I have to find something to stand on so that I can get that. That's a case of sugar-free Red Bull. Ugh. You stand on the break room trash. Yeah, I surely don't want to stand down there. Look at that. Do you love me? Do you love me? That's all I see in here, so I'm going to turn the camera off for right now. Get out. Uh, so does my wife love me for what I just found? Oh, I already love you. Yes. Hold on, let me... I don't even know how many that was. Camera away to not show our license plate. These are the big guns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 sugar-free Red Bulls. Hell, if that's all we find tonight, fuck it. So while we're waiting at this red light that takes forever, I'll take about, well, it, and it turned green just as we're sitting here. I have to take a time, uh, a little bit of time to explain what the uh, MCM TV Unicorn Circuit video of my town was that I just put up. There's a, a show that's been on YouTube for 11 years now called Mighty Car Mods. Uh, it's Marty and Moog. They're just a couple of guys. They're not mechanics. They're a couple of buddies there. They actually make music for a living. Um, but they like to modify cars, and it's a show that I've watched since the beginning of when they were on there. But anyway, they have an MCM uh, TV2 channel, which is Mighty Car Mods TV2 channel that they put up. Um, and they do a show called The Unicorn Circuit, which is just a spoof of a, of a name for a show. They talk about car news and things of the sort. They kind of picked up where Top Gear left off in the sense that like what's going on in the automotive industry, things with global imports, stuff like that. And they do a segment every week when they do the show called My Town. So, uh, and then three of the guys that are actually on a different show that are on the MCM TV2 channel were just here in Charleston with a car for Drag Week. Um, and we went up to North Charleston to uh, the a car show that they did at Hooters. Um, and I met those three guys, which would be Turbo Yoda, the Mechanical Stig, and Benny, uh, when they were here, because they were here for Drag Week. Um, and anyway, I did a, a segment about Charleston, because they were here in Charleston, for them, and I'm hoping that it makes their, their channel. Because between their two channels, I want to say they have like three and a half million subscribers. And that would be a huge deal for my channel to be able to, uh, get some recognition from a channel that size, um, Cool dudes. And they're they're cool guys, and it would be huge for my channel. But anyway, we're rolling up on retail here, so I'm going to take you off the window mount, put you down here in the old hand mount uh, down here on my knees. All right, let's hop out here at retail. It's always uh, an adult scavenger hunt, nine times out of ten. Wow. Uh, I see a. A shitty diaper. Why is this not focusing now? There we go. I see a shitty diaper. A Marshall's bag. There's nothing in here that we need, dear, unless you want that hideous candle back there that the Russian lady next door would probably jump in there and get, seeing as she walks around the neighborhood and picks up everybody's garbage. I'll take a look at the recycling cans, though. That's kind of depressing. You, you, you sure you don't want me to get that shitty diaper for you? Ew, it's doo doo. <laughs> Ah, we've been going round and round about the word doo-doo. That sucks. Hey, look, somebody ripped out one of their cameras. Uh, empty boxes. Guess if I needed to ship something. Well, uh, yeah, it must be trash day here. Well, that's a fucking bummer. Ah, uh, fuck. Yeah, well, this is not boding well either. The lid's open and the side's open. This is West Marine. My wife just mentioned that at this time last year I uh, found a fishing pole. 
that was brand new in here. Well, there's actually some stuff. Let's see. Some. I don't know if it's all just shit or if there's actually something in here. Somebody been drinking on the job. Oh, man, I'm not looking for somebody's used aspirin bottle. It's a brand new uh, Staples notepad. Maybe the uh, wife will find a use for that. Food trash. Uh, papers. Uh, broken. Shit, what is that? Jump start. Starting fluid. Wow. I'll actually take that. You can't ever have too many chemicals. So I guess it's not too bad, considering the night we've had. Some, uh, Shoot that all down the, uh, the old throat hole of the car when it won't start, and that bitch will fucking start, I'll tell you that much. Alright, we're gonna go on to uh, Petco. The wife laughed talking about the can of ether with lubricant that I found there. There's a channel that I watched that the fucking guy hasn't uploaded anything in like nine months with zip ties and bias plies. Where he, he talks about spraying the ether down her old fuck throat so get her to go. So away she goes, it's mint. Guys from uh, Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia, Saskatchewan, Canada. Yeah, sounds like one of the trailer park boys. He makes you seem like you have a virgin male. Oh, absolutely. He's the most vile individual on the internet, and that may be, uh, I don't know that. When this can is this full, that could mean there's dead animals in it. I'm, uh, I'm going to scratch the surface here. But I'm not particularly a fan of this place when it's this full. Because generally when it's this full, you find dead animals and shit in here. That's somebody's jacket. That's exciting. Yeah, somebody moved and threw away their blankets. I'm not... Huh. Yeah, I'm not looking to find uh, any dead animals in this thing tonight. Oh, there's a broken cat box. Uh, that's fish tank transportation. Now this thing's I hate to be a party pooper, but like I'm not looking for a a fucking houndstooth jacket or a now somebody moved and dumped all their leftover shit in here in and amongst the Yeah. Nope. I'll catch you guys back at the house. I lied. There's never once been anything in this trash can. This, uh, this upscale toy store. Oh, I know, where's my gloves? Upscale toy store that uh, I can give them mad props for not wasting or throwing away anything. Because they literally, they only ever throw away cardboard in their cardboard dumpster. There's never been a toy or anything other than actual trash trash. So I can give them props for at least a uh, not filling the landfills. All right, so not the most eventful night of things. It, it's uh, 13 12 ounce cans of Red Bull, which are what, four bucks a piece? We're gonna be greedy and keep those because the wife drinks those. They're expired, I'm looking out for folks. Yeah, right, because Red Bull ever expires with the chemicals that are in that shit. Uh, brand new notepad and some stuff to stuff on down or old, some old Bill Cosby in a can as they call it there, some ether. Anyway, uh, what it's looking like from here on out is I'm not going to waste you guys' time by doing it on... Uh, we're going to try again on Sunday of this week because in the past it was always Sundays and Tuesdays. So these off days of the week, I'm not going to waste our time or yours because we don't find anything. Then, if, then again, if we didn't go out tonight, we wouldn't have found 13 Red Bulls. Yeah. But uh, in an effort to keep uh, you guys entertained, we're not going to waste your time uh, anymore on uh, off nights of the week. We're going to start doing uh either a sunday or a tuesday perhaps once in a while a sunday and a tuesday but i can't promise you that every week because of the weather we got rain coming this weekend so i don't know if sunday is even going to be an option that potentially tuesday we'll see 
Uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the notifications and all that happy horse shit. And we'll catch you back here again later. I'm going to take this, uh, this can of uh, Bill Cosby in a can and I'm going to chase my wife up the stairs. <clears throat> Fuckers.